What the fuck are you doing? What, what do you, no, no, nothing. Nothing, nothing's going on here. What do you mean? What? Why have you got a fucking candle? I haven't. What, what the fuck do you mean? I haven't got a candle. Stan Twitter, accurately described by At The Art Is Dead by Slap Bang In The Middle Of Hell. It's true. Stan Twitter is, is, compri is comprised of stans, as, as you might in fact guess. Stan is in fact defined by the Urban Dictionary as a crazed or obsessed fan. The term comes from the song Stan by Eminem. The term Stan is used to describe a fan who goes to great lengths to obsess over a celebrity. Today we're going to be diving into the depths of Stan Twitter, because it's fucking horrifying. So I encounter many Stans on Twitter on a regular basis, possibly several a day. Too many. A large proportion of my admittedly small Twitter following is in fact Stan accounts, so uh, you could consider me an expert of sorts. There's a lot to um, unpick when it comes to Stan accounts, so... Uh, Let's have a gander at some tweet formats that have gained popularity in the Stan Twitter community. Oh, well, so we're here now, and uh, we're going to be looking at some tweets made by uh, Stan accounts. This should be fun. Now, I've chosen to do this specific format. It's led to some questionable file names that are now saved on my computer that I wish no one ever saw, such as alexdickeat.png and George Cum. Yeah, people are probably going to think you have like porn images now on your computer. Practically do at this point, mate. Like, but let's start off with one of the more tame ones. Uh, Alex's dandruff. So this, this, you'll, you'll, you'll see how this format goes uh, as we go along. It's, it's relatively simple. Alex itches his head. Alex then says, where's my dandruff? And then this Stan account is claiming that they are in fact the person consuming said dandruff with with a, with a, with a Twitter video of uh, a woman consuming some sort of white powdery rock. Not cocaine. We also have a, uh, a fantastic one. <laughs> oh, I did that. <laughs> That's a fucking hell. <laughs> we also have one about James Marriott deodorant, where uh, at Embersux, right, claims that uh, James Marriott wants to put on deodorant. James Marriott then says, yo, where the fuck my deodorant go? And then them under the sink is a woman consuming deodorant. Pretty normal. Yeah, that... I often like to um, partake in the consumption of some mm, bit of shore men, some dove maybe, if I'm really feeling bougie. <laughs> right. So here we have one that uh, I've I've named George Cum. Right. Okay. I'm definitely not porn. It's not porn. I promise. Uh. Mimulus wanks. Censored out the A. Thank you. Uh, Mamulus. What the fuck? Where my cum go? And then them under 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 Mamulus's bed. Man. Covered head to toe in shaving foam. Yeah, let's move on. Right, so we have one more image of this sort of format uh, to show. And I've named this one Alex Dick Eat. And... Lovely. I think that's a perfect description of what it is, because it's, uh, Alex pulls down his pants, I hey, think. where my dick go, and then them uh, hiding in the shower, woman consuming what looks to be a penis, I think it speaks for itself, this one makes me somewhat uncomfortable, uh, let's go to a different tweet, here we're gonna, we're gonna stray from the tweet format now, and we're just gonna go go some odd tweets. Uh, I'm not like other girls. I eat teeth. Ah, that's a normal thing you partake in, you know, eating teeth. Normal. I'm not like other girls. 
I eat teeth. I think there's an elegance to this tweet, a, be a real beauty. And I think, uh, Kess, you should put this in an art museum. But I have read this, and I do want to stop doing this segment now. That's your fault. Fuck you. So, uh, now that you've looked at some tweets, you should have a decent understanding of the sort of stands we're uh, tackling today. So, um, I'd like to uh, take a, a deeper dive into a few accounts and uh, see how they fare. In my sweet egg. Hey, buddy, did you hear the news? Da 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 da. His stand review. Da 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 da. Okay, so welcome to Stan Review. Skus, 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 skus. Nearly, nearly three months ago, I was planning this video because this video is um quite late. Yeah, it, it's quite late. Um, I asked if you're a Stan account, reply, and I'll review your very existence. And that is exactly what I plan to do today. It may be late, but it's happening. So these people, nearly three months ago, replied, and now they're gonna get um, judged heavily. Great. Let's start with um, this one here. Their username is a uh, Kira Stan at J C R C R R L. Psycho robot. Yeah, they've um, they have she, her in her bio. Um. Plus ten points. Uh, they have an an unpronounceable at classic. Their pin tweet is a thread of random edits I've made. So they have some um edits here, as you might expect. Uh, of wow. let's start with a uh, BTS. Mm. How many they have? Jimin and. Uh, do I even try and pronounce? Yeah, yeah. Hosiok? <laughs> that's, that's not how you pronounce it. It's like, it's probably like Hos, Hosiak. <laughs> uh, we also have Taehyung and the Namjoon. Red Velvet and uh, Yerim. Now, the edits themselves, they aren't too bad. It's just they're K-pop and therefore scum. Zero out of ten. Right, on to the next stand account. Shaking and crying. The next stand account is um Amit, uh, Anakin Skywalker love bot. Their at is um Vice Stargarian. Oh. Get it? Yeah. Good. There seems to be a, a Star Wars stand account of a. It seems to be Ray by the looks of it. Is that the character? I watched The Force Awakens and stopped. <laughs> right, so um, we've got to give them some points for, you know, um, having a pin tweet of layouts and keeping all their layouts they've ever had. One thing you might notice in standard accounts is they, they do love their layouts. They're big fans of layouts. They have to have their, their header, their profile picture. It must match at all times. And they must have some lovely... Synchronization. That's not the right word. But uh, they've only had, they've only had a few layouts in this thread. It's quite short. I'm gonna have to dock some points for it not being very long. They do have some raccoon pictures, and uh, I've got to, I've got to give it to them for that. That's gonna give them a couple points. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. You get a six out of ten. Amit, be grateful. <laughs> yeah, bow to me, bitch. Right. The next one we have here is Camilla, but with a K. Just to, you know, be a little bit edgy. And, um, their at is Rogvrina. They have a, uh, they have a, a pyrocynical, uh, that is pyrocynical, right? So they have a pyrocynical avatar and their header is, of course, a carry drawing. They have a nice, um, complimentary layout of yellow. Oh, they've, they've really hit the nail and have the stan accounts. They have some edgy fonts in their pin tweet. Ooh. Yes. That's even upside down text. That's big stat account points. Eight out of ten. Right. This person, uh, Sab Stream 
Hadil and a blame game. I feel like I should know what that stands for, but I don't. Their at is Big Lenny DNP underscore, which is Big Lenny, which I assume refers to Will Lenny, and DNP, which is Dan and Phil. A classic combination. They have a Dan, a Dan Howell avatar with a dog. I've got to rate the dog, I'm not going to lie. Uh, their recent tweet, as of recording this, is a uh, Let Autocorrect Determine This. That's a good one for stands, that's very popular. But I'm going to say their pin tweet isn't a thread. And oh, that's, 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 not, that's not very Stan like of them. I think we're going to have to dock some points for that, aren't we? I'm going to give that a 5 out of 10. Okay. 5 out of 10, Big Lenny DMP underscore. Stan Luna. Now we have uh, Gabby, who um, claims to no longer be a Stan account. However, we're going to claim they're a Stan account for the purposes of this. The at is um, Gabby Stevie Boyo. Uh, they, in fact, have themselves as their profile picture. Now, this, not very Stan like no, of them. They do have an uh, Internet Sensation podcast banner, which. Okay, okay. Fair enough, cool. fair enough. Cool. They have, um, hashtag we love you Alex in the, in the bio, that's, uh, okay. Stan account-ish. Yeah. Their pin tweet is, a uh, them wearing I'm Alex merch. Oh, it's also a thread, seemingly. It is a thread, it's not much of a thread, but it is a thread. And we're going to give them a good, sort of 8.5 out of 10. Oh. Maybe, maybe an 8.5678 out of 10. Oh. Right, that's a suspended account. Let me go to L's new account. So L, also known as L Froggy I, I believe they're at is. Uh, they got suspended recently, but we know L, a uh, big Thaf9 stan. L, shut up. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, well done. Right. <laughs> Here we have um, Cass. Oh, they've gone private. Can I do this? <laughs> We're going to go with Cass. Um... Cass is, is the master, the, the, the genius behind I'm not like other girls, I eat teeth. Uh, since then, they've um, changed their layout, changed their app. They're now Wheel XRS. Uh, I don't know, like... You can decide their score. I don't fucking care anymore. Fuck, man. Like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Meme Your Ho! And I, uh, the at Meme Your Ho is, is quite incredible. Because, um, Meme Yaho. Meme Yaho. Now, Stan Twitter is the only place you can find interaction between Meme Yaho, Meme Ya Sket, and Meme Ya Whore, or Meme Ya Slut, or whatever their ats are. There's a whole fucking army of them. There's an abundance of Meme Ya fucking slags running around this place, right? But they're, 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 Meme Ya Ho, Beamer, but they got a Lil Peep, Lil Peep layout with the bio and that, you know? We can, we can respect that. I think they stand Lil Peep from what I've seen on their Twitter. They have Stan. The word Stan is actually in their pin tweet. I think we're going to have to give that a good score. Okay, that's, um, yeah. Good 7 out of 10. Ooh, ooh, 7 out of 10. Good at being a Stan. Next one we have Spreading STIs. <laughs> Great, what a name. This is Abby. Uh, I never liked your tweet header. They have a notice as their header. That's always a good sign. They're from Scotland. We're going to dock some points for that. Dock maybe like seven points for that. <laughs> so we're going to give it a four out of ten. Four out of ten. Sorry, you're Scottish. <laughs> and now um, we're going to go on to this person who claims they're not a stan. Definitely are. It's, uh, it's Josh Jeans 24-7. Right. Now this... I don't know how to describe Josh here. I've seen a fair amount of Josh's tweets and they never fail to um make me sigh. Is that bad or... Yeah. They're questionable. Questionable, okay. Claims he's not a stan. 10 out of 10 stan account. Okay. Another one who uh, seems to think they're not a stan account anymore, right? Sophia Booth. <laughs> right. Sophia Booth. Let's, um... Yeah, 1 out of 10. Oh. Absolute wank. Imagine standing Woody7803. <laughs> <laughs> Here we seem to have, uh... What's this account? I've never seen this one before. Um... Let's have a look at, uh, at Stan Badger now. Um, excellent profile picture. Excellent choice of person to Stan. Fuck me, man. This is brilliant. 
20 out of 10. Right, moving on. It's time to get all analytical now, because I put out a Google form, and I have 40 responses to this Google form survey about stands. Now, the first question was, uh, do you consider yourself a stan account? 57.5% said no. Whereas 42.5% said yes. So we got, a, we got a good range of either way. Now the next one is, do you consider Stan Twitter usually respectful? Now the options for this one were in fact yes, no, and there was an other option where you could type your answer. So, 42.5% of responses, that was 17 of them, uh, said no, they do not usually consider it respectful. 30%, that's 12 responses, said they do consider it respectful. But we have some more elaborations here. We have one, can become very toxic. One is, depends. When you disagree with something, their icons do, you are basically done for. They're going to kill you. Fair point, very true. I suppose this person says, I think there's two different aspects to Stan Twitter. One where they're uncomfortably sexual and weird with their faves. Faves is, as you can guess, the person they stand their favourite. As I'm assuming you could work out yourself. And the other, where they're just normal and supportive and respectful. Now this I wholeheartedly agree with. I think there's two ways to stand someone. You can be obsessive or you can be supportive, right? There's a fine line between them. And I feel like it's very important to avoid the obsessive. Because if you're a stan, you generally like the person you're standing. You don't want to piss them off. You don't want to annoy. You don't want to make them uncomfortable. You just want to support them and enjoy yourself while doing it. Sometimes it is. They can be really disrespectful sometimes. Depends. 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 I think they take some things too far. Like, yeah, the things they say are joke. But that doesn't make them any less weird. The Alex with the vagina shit was just weird, man. That was quite weird, I'm not gonna lie. Alex with a pussy would be breathtaking. It was a bit odd. Now, I asked, how do people get into Stan Twitter? I'm curious, how do people make their Stan accounts? First one, I think, sums up really well. The crackheads I'm friends with. I think that accurately describes how most people probably got into Stan Twitter. A lot of them are just saying commentary, seeing things on Twitter. I don't know, it looked fun, specific YouTubers, etc. One person says, I find Fraser so hot. Who doesn't? Wanting to make friends in the community. See, Stan Twitter can be very useful for making friends in the community. Just some of those friends are, you know, cunts. What this person says, Buggered Badger YouTube channel, have you heard of it? No, I haven't. I might check that out. I think you lot should too. We can have a, a group venture into looking into this YouTube channel. They call it Buggered Badger. This one's a pretty good one was bored. Multiple people have said that Molly was in fact a reason. Molly is formerly known as Adoring Alex, quite a big stan in the community was, but then gave up on stan account. I think that's how it worked, right? The next question, if you are a part of stan Twitter, who do slash have you stand? I'll tell you, out of the 25 responses we got to this, a few just said no. People didn't quite realise how Google Forms worked and uh, didn't realise they could just skip this question if they weren't a stan. So, ignore those. We have 14 people I counted who said commentary. That's the majority there. A few Dan Phils, some Jack Jacksepticeyes, a few bands, a bit, a bit of K-pop, but mostly the majority is commentary. That's just sort of the community I guess I've reached into and stolen people from. I'm not kidnapping anyone. I promise. This next question I said, what would you consider, generally, the worst stand community? Can be in terms of being disrespectful, rude, or whatever. Now some answers I, I liked here are K-pop, 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 football if you count it, if not K-pop. K-pop definitely beauty in certain K-pop stands, K-pop or the fandom. K-pop, someone dies and they promote their band, K-pop all the way. K-pop commentary can be filled with edgy idiots as well. K-pop, they spam everything and avoid using muted words. K-pop and Ariana Grande stands. K-pop in terms of infiltrating other sections of Twitter, but all stand community tends to have a bad reputation because of a few loud accounts. K-pop or 21 Pilots. That's all the K-pops out of the way. 
if you could tell, there's um, a slight distaste towards uh, towards K-pop. People don't like them. Video game fandoms, that's one person said that. Oh, this one is interesting. I don't think it's a particular community. It's more a particular type of person. It's where it becomes obsession rather than fandom. When people believe that whoever they are a fan of could never do no wrong and threaten people who disagree with them slash the person they stan. Like when a load of Ariana Grande stans told Pete Davidson to kill himself after their breakup. This is a very fair point. Although communities can have different levels of toxicity to them, there are certainly some people who are way out there. They, they go a bit mental with it. I believe that you should never take... You should never absorb someone else's opinions as your own. Think for yourself, motherfuckers. Right, so I also had a segment uh, that's just put whatever shit you want here. So we're going to now spout some absolute bollocks if you want me to say. Yo, Woody is pretty good at YouTube. Go sub. Lol, virgin. Follow at Lil Revenue on Twitter for fun and quirky shit. I think she's changed her at since then. <laughs> so just ignore that one. Adoring Alex is the best stand. Follow her, everyone. Definitely, uh, didn't get suspended. That account definitely exists still. 016 on Manny on the map. This person's just said hi. Uh, Yeet. You're welcome, you bastard. It saved my life, but also ruined it. Deep shit. Subscribe to Buggered Badger and follow Alice. She's going to be top link in the description. XO, 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 Gossip Girl. Now, let's just say that's not true, but you should subscribe to Buggered Badger. Uh, follow me, lads, at MMC Murray XX. That's, uh, that's Maddie, I think. This wouldn't have happened if you stand Luna. Add me up at Meme Your Ho. Your mum, XOX. Yee, yee, motherfucker. Most stand groups are the same. They seem to go through the same motions from finding each other being excited. They like the same thing. More people joining leads them to splitting off into groups and then they argue between groups as all these people left out. And slowly each group grows up, swaps around as real colours show. And then if they are friends regardless of the thing they stand, they just grow together, maybe standing something else, just be friends, or they grow apart. I don't know, I've observed a lot from being a rooster teeth stan for five or so years, and then just having my own account and following other stan groups, commentary, marvel, film, etc. This is the fucking David Attenborough of stan Twitter. Thanks for participating on all that bollocks, so like... Move on. As previously mentioned, many people are not too fond of the K-pop stan community. Now this is an ongoing war between K-pop stans and everybody else. All these fan cams of, of Jungkook and RM, whoever the fuck they are. Some K-pop people, I think. I'm not 100% certain. Trying to uh, indoctrinate you into K-pop, when really they don't understand that I feel like many people wouldn't have a problem with K-pop, but they refuse to look at it because of the K-pop stands. <laughs> Everyone then decided that they didn't like K-pop stands, but somehow K-pop still managed to be one of the, the huge phenomenon that is today, taking over the internet. Everyone loves K-pop. Everyone's a K-pop stan. As much as the K-pop stands try to convert the rest of the world's population, everyone just began to hate K-pop. Like, RM? He was worldwide hated. No one liked him anymore. BTS? Fuck no. Who needs BTS? We got... Who are these? Blackpink, I think, and, and and Luna as well. Stan Luna, but no, no, we'd throw Luna in the fire. It ended up as a stalemate where everyone just sort of agreed that the K-pop stands would reply to everything with "If you stand, given K-pop group, this wouldn't have happened." And then everyone else calls them a massive cunt and just like tells them to fuck off. It's just a, it's just an, it's just a nice little agreement that the world's got where they all fucking hate each other. K-pop stands just hate anyone disagreeing with them. 
that's that's really the moral of the story, isn't it? Just no one really likes K-pop stands. <laughs> this whole thing was a massive waste of time. So that's about as much as I can uh, put up with of Stan Twitter. So we're gonna end this here. I know this video I've I've been saying it's coming for a long time, but I finally got around to doing it. Uh, I'd, I'd like to thank the help of my cameraman, uh, the unknown source. His link will be in the well, link to his Twitter will be in the description, and it'll be on screen right now or some shit. Go go follow him or some absolute like bollocks. Like that. I'll just like block him. I don't know. He's he's offering to stand you. That is a um big offer. Anyway, I'm just gonna like end this video now.